Welcome to the journey and welcome to the beginning of a new week and our second week of lockdown. We don't only begin another week of lockdown, we also are at the beginning of the most sacred week in the Christian calendar, Holy Week. There is, it seems to me, a real tension we hold this Holy Week. The tension between not being able to celebrate it as we usually do, not being able to attend the Tridium liturgies, not being able to gather with friends and family to celebrate Easter. And yet, on the other hand, a real opportunity to enter into Holy Week in a way that we normally can't or perhaps don't. You see, we are very often on autopilot when it comes to many of our Christian celebrations. We have traditional ways of doing them, and that's okay. We have traditional ways of remembering them, of celebrating them. And this year, this challenging time is different. Not chosen, but it's different. We cannot do what we normally do. It seems as if perhaps God is gently inviting us to a new form of observing this week. God is inviting us to be creative and to think out of the box. We can approach this time in two ways, by seeing it as isolation and limiting and frustrating and restricting, by worrying about not being able to do the traditional things that we normally do, by feeling very much restricted. Or we can approach it in a very different way, as a time of solitude, as a time that opens us up to a deeper experience of the passion and the death and the resurrection of Jesus. A time that leads us to a greater depth and understanding of this event that is the very foundation and heart of our Christian faith. And how might we do this? There are different things that we can do alone or with those we are in lockdown with. We can, for example, do the traditional things. We can pray the rosary or we can pray the Stations of the Cross. And yet, there is something else that we can also do. There is another thing that I want to suggest to you today. I want to suggest that you can take the scriptures, take the Bible, and read the story of the passion of Jesus, or even part thereof in the different Gospels. Maybe read even a different Gospel each day. And as you read, watch the characters, watch Jesus, Try to enter into the scene and simply observe what strikes you at that very moment. A moment in the story or a person that you meet in the story. Something someone says, something that Jesus does or says. And then you could, after reading, close your eyes and allow yourself to enter into the scene. Imagine that you were there observing what is going on or perhaps even become one of the characters that you read about. And take your time. Do this together. Take turns even to read the different accounts of the Passion. Let the children each have a little bit to read. Have a time of silence and then share your thoughts and your reflections with one another. You'll be amazed at the wonderful insights that so often children have when you ask them to reflect on an account or a story like this. Share which scenes and which characters you found attractive and why, and allow yourself simply to be immersed in the scriptures of this week. And then when everybody has shared, maybe you can begin your own tradition, a new way of praying together to end your time of sharing and reflection. I believe, friends, that this can be a beautiful Holy Week. Our time of lockdown gives us time that we don't normally have. And so don't allow this time to be stolen by the TV or social media or your phone. Rather, balance it. 
Don't worry about what you can't do this week. Do what you can. God may be giving us the most unexpected and wonderful gift during this time of lockdown in the form of the lockdown itself. And like all gifts, let us treasure it by using it as well as we can.